If you followed last year's draft closely, you know that Chet Holmgren was a serious contender for the top spot. With his unique skill set and versatility, many believed he could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this year's number one pick, Victor Wimbanyama. Holmgren is what you call a unicorn in today's basketball world. A seven-footer with a seven-foot, six-inch wingspan who moves on the court like a point guard. The possibilities with him are limitless. Basketball Background Chet's basketball journey is rooted in a deep family connection. His father, a former player for the University of Minnesota, faced his own career-ending knee injury, determined to give his son the opportunity he never had. Chet's father became his biggest supporter. Chet's incredible height, standing over six feet tall by the age of 11, set him apart from his peers. During his early high school years, he faced challenges, averaging just 6.2 points and three rebounds per game in his first year. However, his determination was unwavering. By his second year, Chet's hard work began to pay off. He caught the attention of college recruiters, and his numbers skyrocketed to 18.6 points and 11 rebounds per game. But it was his final season that truly turned heads, averaging a staggering 21 points and 12.3 rebounds. Just like his former teammate, Jalen Suggs, he decided to join the Gonzaga Bulldogs. In his freshman year, he proved his worth, averaging 14.1 points, 9.9 .9 rebounds, and an impressive 3.7 blocks per game. Gonzaga dominated the regular season, earning the top spot in the AP ranking and winning the West Coast Conference. Then March Madness arrived, and Gonzaga entered the tournament as the top seed, Chet leading the way. But despite his incredible performances throughout the season, the Bulldogs faced a tough challenge in the Sweet 16. Arkansas ended Gonzaga's tournament run, leaving Chet with a bitter taste in his mouth. But despite the disappointment, Chet's sights were set on the NBA. He declared for the NBA draft and was selected as the second overall pick by the Oklahoma City Thunder. Now last year, during the Seattle Pro-Am game, he suffered a devastating foot injury while trying to defend the king himself, LeBron James. Torn ligaments kept him out of the game for the entire season. The entire 2022-23 season. That's tough for a rookie starting his NBA career. From that fateful moment when he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with LeBron to the agonizing months of recovery and rehabilitation, Chet has battled his way back from adversity, though this injury raised concerns about Holmgren's physicality and durability. At just 195 pounds with a thin frame, some doubted whether he could handle the rigors of the NBA. Critics argued that his slender build might make him an easy target for stronger, more physical opponents. But you know what they say, doubt fuels determination. The Thunder organization has shown tremendous support for this young talent, with general manager Sam Presti expressing his disappointment, but also his belief in Chet's resilience and determination. They know he's got a bright future ahead and are ready to back him up every step of the way. Now, Holmgren's strength lies not only in his physical attributes, but also in his mental resilience. He's been working tirelessly day in and day out to overcome his injury and prove his doubters wrong. And while other rookies took to the court last season, Chet Holmgren remained in the shadows, focusing on his recovery and building his body to withstand the NBA's physical demands. Holmgren has been hitting the gym hard, determined to silence the doubters who question his frame. When he was drafted in 2022, he weighed in at a mere 195 pounds. But guess what? This man has been hitting the weights and packing on some serious muscle. Now he's listed at a solid 208 pounds, a 13 pound increase. And let me tell you, he looks jacked. That added strength and improved physique will undoubtedly complement his already impressive skill set, making him a force on the court. The return. Now, Chet's return is nothing short of exciting. If you've been following the NBA Summer League, you know that these past few weeks were a game changer for Chet. After what felt like an eternity on the sidelines, this young gun finally got a taste of on-court action. And man, did he make it count. But first, let's rewind to last year's Summer League. The guy was an absolute beast, especially during his time in Salt Lake City, averaging an impressive 17.0 points, 9.5 rebounds, 3.5 assists, and 4.0 blocks per game, while shooting a solid 50% from the field and a stunning 41.7% from beyond the arc. Yeah, those numbers are no joke. Now, over the course of three games, split between Salt Lake City and Las Vegas, Holmgren has proved that he is still a force. He showcased his versatility, his finesse, and that shot-blocking prowess that made him a household name even before he stepped foot in the league. In those three electrifying contests, Holmgren averaged a jaw-dropping double-double. Yeah, that's right. 13.7 points, 10 rebounds, and 2.7 assists per game. He was also lighting it up in the defensive end, averaging three blocks and a steal per game. I mean, seriously, those stats say something. 
Sure, he hasn't been lighting it up from behind the arc during the summer. But mark my words, this guy is a sharpshooter in the making. He's already projected to shoot above the league average from a distance as a rookie. And his ability to drain those three-pointers doesn't just benefit him. It creates opportunities for his teammates as well. Ooh, and let's not forget about his lethal pump fake. It's a thing of beauty. With that move, he can leave his defenders driving straight to the rim for some sweet, sweet points. It's all about versatility, and Holmgren has it in spades. Chet is also a force on the offensive glass, grabbing those boards and creating second chance opportunities for himself and his teammates. But here's the mind blower. He is a sneaky good passer. For big man, he has some serious court vision. I mean, nearly three assists per game in the summer league alone. That's impressive. His ability to see the floor, combined with his ball handling skills, allows him to make smart plays and ignite fast breaks. But what truly sets Chet apart is his versatility. This guy can impact the game in so many ways. One night, he'll rain down triples from behind the arc. The next night, he'll dominate the boards, snatching rebounds left and right. His length and agility make him a nightmare for opponents in the paint. Holmgren's NBA trajectory. Standing at an impressive height and boasting an incredible wingspan, Holmgren brings a unique set of skills to the game. But is he ready to take on the physicality of the NBA? That's the big question on everyone's minds. When it comes to talent, he has it all. He's got the bounces, the passes, the shooting, the creativity, the handles, the scoring ability, and the defensive prowess. This guy knows how to make opponents think twice before challenging him. But here's the thing. There's a considerable risk factor surrounding Holmgren. Last season, he missed the entire year due to torn ligaments, which has only fueled the skeptic's doubts. His talent is undeniable, and OKC had the guts to select him and knew they were making a long-term investment. But will his potential outweigh the risks? Players like Ben Carroll and Jabari Smith Jr., who were selected right before and after Holmgren, seem like safer bets in terms of immediate impact. But with Chet, it's all about the possibilities. The risks are greater. But so are the rewards, and we're about to witness it firsthand. Chet is set to embark on his first official NBA season. Even though it should technically be a second, it's an unusual situation. But sometimes, life throws unexpected opportunities our way. Maybe this layoff has given him a chance to focus on honing his skills and preparing to excel in the NBA. Young, stacked, and growing. The Thunder made waves last season, narrowly missing out on the playoffs. And guess what? They did it without their key piece, Chet Holmgren. Now, I don't want to compare him to legends just yet, but let me tell you, Holmgren looks bigger than Kevin Durant. And when you add this giant of a player to an already young and stacked OKC Thunder squad, you've got a recipe for success. We've got the dynamic duo of Shai Gilgis Alexander and Josh Giddy leading the charge. But with Holmgren joining the mix, it's about to become a big three. It's going to be insane. Chet has been shaking off the rust. And I tell you, this guy is ready to go. The Thunder can get creative with their lineups because of him. With his well-rounded skill set, Chet can play either front court position and close out games like a seasoned vet. Now, I know what you're thinking. How can a guy who missed an entire season due to injury be ready for the NBA? Well, guys, Chet might be a rookie on paper, but he's already got a leg up on his fellow first-year players. While rehabbing, he immersed himself in the game, studying film, building chemistry with his teammates, and soaking in the grind of an NBA season. And don't forget the Thunder also added some serious firepower with Kaysen Wallace, the number 10 pick from Kentucky. This guy knows how to shoot from downtown, as he proved against the team that traded him, the Dallas Mavericks, dropping six three-pointers and 20 points. That's some offensive firepower right there. But it's not just about the offense. The Thunder have been craving a defensive-minded big man to bolster their front court. And guess who fits the bill? You got it, Chet Holmgren. Even his teammate Josh Giddy is backing him up, believing Holmgren has what it takes to snag the Rookie of the Year trophy this coming season. So, with Holmgren's return and the potential impact he brings, the Thunder's future is looking brighter than ever. They're hungry, they're talented, and they're ready to take the next step in their development. Playoffs? Watch out. The Thunder is coming for you. Now, will Chet dominate the league with his unprecedented combination of size and skills? Or will the physicality prove to be a hurdle he can't overcome? Let me know your thoughts. And always, thanks for tuning in. And make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and leave a comment below to join the discussion. Until next time, stay tuned for more NBA content. Catch you on the next one.